Chris Coleman wants to lead relegated Sunderland's fight for promotion from League One after revealing he has still not spoken. To owner Ellis Short. The former Wales boss saw his side slip out of the Skybet Championship 12 months after their exit from the Premier League as a result of last Saturday's 2-1 home defeat by Burton. He is keen to remain the job he started in November last year, but with Short in America and leaving the running of the club to chief executive Martin Bain. He admits the Black Hats are almost floating aimlessly in the dark apostrophe. Sunderland boss Coleman told a press conference, It hasn't gone the way we wanted it to go, the way we hoped for it to go, but nevertheless we are still here and I'd still like the opportunity to put things right here. Again, that won't be my decision, that will be someone else's. Whose, I don't know, but that's not like me saying, that's it for me. I think it's a super football club, I do. It's a great football club. It's in a position where it's very tough and it's attached with a lot of negatives because of two back-to-back -back relegations. We have not been able to stop the slide. But it's still a great football club regardless of what anybody says. We're an easy target now, you can say what you like about us. Pick this level, that level, whatever, easy target and no doubt that's what's coming and that's fine. But that won't always be like that, it won't. For me, for the people here, for the football club. We won't always be where we are. Sunderland head for promotion chasing Fulham on Friday night, but we'll do so once again without £70,000 a week midfielder Jack Rodwell, who has not made a senior appearance since September. Asked if the former England international could figure, Coleman replied, No, I don't even know where Jack is, to be honest with you, so no, he won't be involved. I'm sure that if there was a sniff of a first team appearance, I'm not sure he'd be 100% fit for it, so I don't think that's going to be the case. 